Hello everyone, happy Pi Day. In this video, we're going to be solving a Pi Day puzzle in honor of Pi Day, which is March 14th. So we have a three-digit number, PIE, and its square root can be written as Pi times E plus E, where Pi, E, and E represent a different digit, one through nine. And zero is not allowed. So let's go ahead and take a look at three-digit perfect squares and then we're going to eliminate the bad cases and we're going to come up with all the solutions. Let's get started. So here's a table of perfect squares of numbers 10 through 31. Why do we stop at 31? Because 32 squared is 1024 which is also 2 to the 10th power. And 9 squared is a two digit number so we're only going to be looking at these numbers. Since pi, e, and e are distinct or different digits, we're going to eliminate the cases where any digit repeats. For example, 100 has two repeating digits or one repeating digit like twice, has two zeros, so we're not going to take that. That basically means 10 is gone. 121 is not going to work. 144 is not going to work. So quite a few cases we're going to be able to eliminate. 15 is not going to work. And then what else we have? We have 400, that's not going to work. 441, 484, none of those are going to work. 676 is not going to work either. And 900 is not going to work. So we were able to eliminate you know, quite a few cases, but we still have to test the remaining ones. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, we multiply the P and the I. So the 100s digit and the 10s digit of this three-digit number is multiplied, and then the 1s digit is added, and that gives us the answer. Make sense? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. For example, 169, is that going to work? So basically what you're supposed to do is take 1 and 6, multiply, and add the 9. So that's pretty much what we're going to do, and by doing that, we're hoping to get the same number, right? or its square root, in other words. So for example, one times six plus nine, what is that equal to? And I'm hoping that you can do this mentally. One times six plus nine is going to be 15, and that is not equal to 13, so this is not gonna work. One times nine plus six is gonna be 15, pretty close, but not quite there. And how about 256? Two times five, and let me write this down. Two times five plus six is 10 plus six, and that is equal to 16, and yes, 256 is one of the solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at 17 or 289. 2 times 8 plus 9 is 16 plus 9, which is 25. That's not going to work. 3 times 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 4, which is 10. It's not going to work. 19 squared is 361. 3 times 6 plus 1 is going to be 19. And yay, we got another solution. Nice. And then 2 times 3 not 2 times 3, 5 times 2 plus 9 is not 23, 5 times 7 plus 6 is not 24, 6 times 2 plus 5 is not 25. You see you can get faster, hopefully, by practicing. 7 times 2 plus 9 is going to be 23, not there. 7 times 8 is way too large, 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33, and 9 times 6 is 54 plus 1, that's way too large. So we end up with two solutions for this puzzle and those numbers are 256 and 361 which means p could be 2 i could be 5 and e could be 6 or p could be 3 i could be 6 and e could be 1 and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Happy Pi Day again. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.